Russell Mahler, and this is Garrett Allen, and outside is Levi Horvath. And today we are going to be showing you a demonstration of a pressurized air cannon. Uh, what we've learned over the last 18 weeks, we have really been doing craftsmanship. That's mainly all it's been about. Um, we've learned how to work with pressurized cannons. We've studied these for a while now, since we started this. Uh, we've also learned how to thread PVC pipes, and um, threading PVC pipes is actually pretty hard because you have to get the right inches into the right barrel. So like say you have a three inch barrel and a two inch barrel, you'd have to somehow make those work. Um, we had to buy supplies, um, and I'll get to the supplies in a minute. But, um, like I said, we've learned craftsmanship, threading, and engineering. Um, how I assembled the cannon, it was a pretty rough process. Uh, it took two prototypes to make this complete. Um, we were at Menards a couple weekends ago, and um, one of the group members decided, hey, how about we do this? This would look really cool. And uh, we were like, yeah, let's just build around that idea. So in Menards that night, we kind of built it there, actually, and then we dis dis disassembled it and bought it all. Uh, we had a really limited supply of money, like $100 of that. And um, it just sometimes didn't work out. Um, we made the cannon that night. Uh, we made it all in one night. It took us a long time to do that. Um, what the, this is actually, like I found this on Google, this is actually what it originally looked like. It was originally going to be like a like motorized cannon. And it says right here, the cannon... It had a couple leaks in it because we weren't like fully understood of how this was going to work out. So like I said, it took two prototypes. Uh, the first one had leaks. The second one, just the PVC kept cracking because it was too tight. Uh, the, um, as you see here, we have a gauge with our thing. We have the valve. We have the air tanks right there. Uh, then also the other thing is the gauge that goes into it, you have to drill the exact amount hole for it. So you can get it in there so no air leaks out. That's one of the problems we had with this. And um, like like now we have the gauge and everything. It's all some out. We use glue and everything. Uh, we did three coat. Uh, we did like two or three coats of paint on this. And this actually was on a time frame we had because like I said, we all assembled this in one weekend. And we had to do the first coat of paint at um, 12 o'clock at midnight. Uh, we did red and gold, of course, that's why I did the colors there. Uh, we had to get it perfectly fine on one side, and then we had to flip it over on the other side without getting our hand prints on it. And, you know, kind of took time on that. Then, um, you know, we went inside and, like, slept for a while. And we got back up about 3 o'clock in the morning, came back out, did one more coat. And, uh, you know, kind of the paint started dripping down off of it because of how we had it angled. So we were like, well, we're going to have to do one more coat in the morning. So, you know, we woke up in the morning, did that last coat, and then gave about an hour, an hour and a half, you know, kind of a little sticky still for us. But um, after that, we eventually finally got it to work, and we finally demonstrated our cannon, uh, like we will be showing you in a minute. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Um, like, as of right now, I'm going to ask you all right now, like, raise your hand if you think this is actually going to turn out to be pretty easy. Like, raise your hand. All right, thanks, thanks. I, I mean, I know some of your kind of like you. Um, now, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something right now. Um, as you all look to your left, uh, yeah, look to your, uh, look to your right. <laughs> as you all look to your right, uh, there's the thing right there. As you all look to your right, pull the string to the right. As you all look to your right, you're about to see. All right, as you all look to your right, you're about to see. Oh, yes. Wait, wait, wait. All right, this. This took time, effort, two prototypes. This is the one we made in the store. I'll leave how we bring that up to the window and we can show them how this was made. Um, we put, um, there's the gauge right there. Uh, there's the nozzle. Uh, there's the two um, air tanks and there's air tanks back there. Uh, Levi, do you have any estimate about how long this would be? Yeah, in inches. Inches and feet, whatever you want, meters, um, I don't know. But, um, I six feet at the most, six feet. So if you stood up with this, you probably could have matched the height of it. Uh, like I said, this took a long time for us to make. Uh, 18 weeks is a while, a couple months actually. 
Uh, then, like I said, we did the proto two prototypes, and this is it. Uh, Levi, don't have you ready. Hey, look, no, Levi, Levi. Out that way, out that way, out that way, out that way. Great, that way. Straight. <laughs>